welcome. Yeah, welcome. To the first official Pink Coffee episode. Today we'll be talking about Netflix. Yeah. And certain series from Netflix. One series you probably already know what we're talking about. Yeah, probably about. everyone knows it. It's yeah. Squid Game. Today we're more going to talk about what makes it special and like special and things about it. And how the creator kind of came up yeah. with the idea. Like he he got it from like influence from manga yeah right? yeah there's a lot of manga like that are kind of the same concept like there's uh, battle royale liar game, game yeah. at least in the polar land like it, they're all like kind of the s- same concept like people go into this place and they get like stuck in there and they have to play games to like win money it's actually like like hunger games yeah it's really close to hunger games yeah well, hunger games also was big back in the that's day that's true that's true it kind of dropped off yeah but i think what actually made made like squid game big was tiktok that's really true the style made it big too because it's really different from any other like netflix series and stuff yeah it could be it's like a korean yeah korean i've never actually watched korean series except I, squid game i have like i watched some um romances and stuff like that <laughs> And the acting in those, you can see it in this in Squid Game too. The mm. acting is really, really good. Even 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 if it's like not super high budget, it's yeah. like really good action still. For some reason, I always thought like Korean series, they're mm. like Indian Bollywood yeah, yeah, series. Yeah. You know, like too much acting and over the top. Yeah. But to be honest, it was really good. I actually watched Squid Game before it was trending. Yeah, like I saw in TikTok, I saw like trailers before mm. it came out and then one day i just saw it in netflix and i was like yeah why not why not just yeah. watch it it there did blow up by the memes and stuff like the cookie meme and the yeah uh, there was a lot of memes from it i wouldn't say meme i would say like challengers in tiktok yeah yeah that's people tried uh, to make the cookies and yeah failed miserably. and like out of youtubers and stuff like yeah. did the um the games and stuff it made it it made it even more like you know popular yeah i also liked how in the series there's a lot of like how would you say it like easter eggs yeah that's really true like on the walls you could see like the living room mm. where they were like placed in and they had like a, a lot of beds yeah 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 you could like see the games you in the, see the walls. games on the walls yeah i kind of figured it out in the middle i was like oh. I, I also like saw one game that they play, played mm. already. I was like, maybe they just add it while they're playing yeah. the game. <laughs> but I never thought like they already had them mm. on the wall. To be honest, like Squid Game was a really, really good series. Like there has been some flaws, but like overall it was a good series. Uh, to be honest, I would say it was okay. And it's kind of being overhyped. It's a bit overhyped, to be well, honest. I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it too. Yeah, like, I really enjoyed it. The, I think the only problems with Squid Game was they went too much into detail in the first season already. Because we know it's there is going to be a second season. We don't know there's going to be a second season, but most likely, because it blew up, yeah. they're going to make a second season. To be honest, uh, spoilers ahead, the ending is where the main character goes and probably tries to stop the whole yeah. squid game thing mm. and it's actually it's a good ending it leaves out of room yeah that's true to like do speculation and is his fate gonna be the same as the cops in mm. the series like the thing is they revealed a bit too much in my mind like on okay there has been some mysteries like why did the brother join the like thing after winning the whole thing yeah and stuff but i think i think it's uh, they didn't go into it thinking that they're gonna do a second that season probably true yeah like didn't the producer get like he couldn't get his series out yeah and he was denied multiple times until but i think like the author had so much time that he probably was already thinking like maybe if this gets big i can make a second season maybe it could be but most likely it's gonna have a second season most likely yeah Yeah. um also piggy blinders came big yeah really fast 
That's a long time ago, but it's still like a s- I think Piggy Blunders is better than Squid Game, to be honest. Mm, I would say too, yeah. Yeah. It, it's I th- um, in my opinion, it's yeah. it's well, way it's better. it's more my style, to be honest. Yeah. It's it's just like a nice series about the gangsters that went from the bottom to the top. Yeah, that's really yeah, good. I liked it a lot. And every when, every time there's a new season, yeah. it's gonna be hyped more and more. And also, TikTok has a lot of influence yeah. about like this series getting blown up. It's based from a true story, like the Peak Blenders actually existed. Yeah, but sometimes even still, it's based on a true story. It seems like the main character has a uh, plot armor. It's really weird. Yeah, I think. Yeah, you're 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 right. But what I li- liked about Squid Game is that it brings, like, from another. Mm. How would you say it? It brings from manga yeah. influence, the way it's filmed, uh, the stories, yeah, like even like anime mm. got really big during Corona time. That's really true. It became really trending. Mm. Like, I think it just became big because people didn't really have much to do on lockdown and stuff, mm. and some people just found out, oh, there is a thing called anime. Well, people already yeah. knew about anime, yeah, but it's like. Course. People started like, oh, maybe it no, is it, okay. It was more like before 2019. Yeah. If you watched anime, you were a nerd. Yeah, you but were now a if you wa- watch stuff. anime, you're cool, you know? Yeah, it's a bit weird. Like, there's yeah. these certain animes, like Attack on Titan, Demon mm. Slayer. They're like good animes, but they're more like they fit like people that just start watching anime and stuff. Yeah. Even though Attack on Titan is score and stuff, but it's like kind of like normie friendly, you know? It just fits like the new generation stuff. Yeah, and it also life. fits to like casual anime watchers. Yeah. Cause it's it's not nice to watch, start watching anime and then you realize oh it's three hundred to a thousand episodes. That's true. If you watch like Attack on Titan, it's pretty long. But it's not as long as like Naruto and One Piece and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, Dragon Ball. And it's not like. Long. There is mystery in Attack on Titan. Okay, we're not going to go too much into Attack on yeah, Titan. I haven't seen the last yeah. season, part one. But there is mystery in Attack on Titan, but it's kind of like you don't have to think that much. Everything, like, you know, goes by itself. It's a good, like, anime to just chill and watch. It's Attack on Titan, Death Note, Demon Slayer, uh, Demon Slayer. All these, like, really basic. Shorter. Anime newer animes even mm. Jujutsu Kaisen is Jujutsu really good Kaisen, for yeah. like new anime watchers or just casual anime watchers yeah and even like these big studios are getting into anime mm. now that it's trending like Netflix does more anime series yeah that's really and fun. Sony it yeah, bought, it bought uh, Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll yeah uh, what else well yeah like a but lot of um, mm? there's gonna be live action anime there is gonna be one really big live action anime one series. Piece. One Piece live action anime series. Yeah. They have made already like a lot of live action anime like from Bleach, from uh, Death Note and stuff, but they all kind of just failed. They all failed. They, yeah. they I all think failed. I think it's because of the budget. It's really about the budget yeah. and it's a movie. You can't mm. really turn a series into a movie that easily. The anime erased that's true you could turn it into a live action and an anime movie that's true like it, it would really work and there is no cgi yeah at all. you don't need cgi with one piece the problem is okay yeah they're making it as a series mm. and they said something like they already made uh, 100 episodes so it's almost still like all of us and stuff but i don't know how it's gonna work with said so the budget should be like su- super high if you want to make it work yeah, and if they already made 100 episodes but let's be honest it's netflix making it right that's true yeah if it's netflix who's making the anime live action anime i think they're gonna have a pretty good budget and one yeah. piece isn't a small it's not a small, small anime series yeah. it's pretty big that's true i'm just the thing with one piece why you can't really make a live action out of it is the character design and the abilities they're all like super like weird mm. like yeah the art on one piece is one of the most important things yeah it's it's gonna be really weird if they wanna go 
really like seem the same yeah. as One Piece. Like let's say Usopu. Yeah. Never knows. He has a long nose. Like, are they just gonna do a prosthetic nose, or are I they trying know, to yeah. incorporate CGI? Well, chopper. I, I no How are they gonna That's represent? True. Is it gonna be a realistic reindeer, mm. or is it gonna be more like 3D yeah. fake? You know. Well, I guess we're just gonna see. I think it's gonna be released next year, 2022. Do you do you think they? Have you seen any trailers? Do I've seen tra- trailers and it's they're not going that way I think they're going straight on live action characters mm. look like normal humans uh, okay. Luffy is p- played by a girl I think okay yeah uh, I, I don't know maybe they're just gonna be like we're not trying to make it s- like super similar it's just gonna be the same story same stuff mm. but characters are different looking and stuff like that you know they're not gonna try to copy straight on i i don't think it's gonna be huge Uh, yeah every time you take let's say death note Mm. death note anime is really Really big it's really big like everyone has and it's big like most anime watchers and even casual anime watchers know or have seen Death Note. that's really true and when they did the live action it flopped it did it's like you take something great mm. and you try to make make it as big and just it's kind of fails i think they're not trying to make it as big they're just trying to milk the content and yeah. like trying mm. to get just more people to watch it yeah it's true and it I never works it could be that it brings new people to watch the actual anime i think it's the opposite to be honest like well people who watch the death note movie before the anime mm. they if you tell, oh yeah, there's this anime Death Note, they're like, oh, I've seen the movie, it's really bad, you know? Mm, yeah, true. I, I don't think it's a good thing. Actually, I anime. think I also saw the movie before mm-hmm. the actual mm-hmm. anime, and I thought it was really bad. Yeah. Because it's like, anime, the, the series, like, let's say Death Note, mm. you need the whole series to make sense out of it. You can't just fit it into yeah, a it, it's, few it's hours. Yeah, it's kind of dumb, like, I think... Or I believe if if you go the route of mm-hmm. making later like a live action One Piece, live action Naruto, go with the actual anime yeah. or manga, yeah, like either because if you start like making your own version, yeah. you know, like f- it's just a filler. Then it's really, it's just a filler. <laughs> it's no a filler. Gonna it's a no one is gonna care about it. Different version. It's not gonna be fun. But let's uh, let's say about the One Piece. One Piece fans, they always want to just get more and more One Piece content. Mm. Like if they don't have One Piece, they just watch it over. So they're most likely going to watch the live action, but I don't know if it's going to be good, you know. Maybe they're going to... They should have a really good first episode. Yeah, to like get hooked in. Yeah, to get people actually watch it. Mm. Um, but I like how Netflix is now trying to get more into anime the problem here in finland is you don't see much anime in netflix yeah that's true i hate it when netflix like limits other countries yeah it's really bad like it's like japan has all these anime series and finland doesn't Mm. just few animes and and finland doesn't have the big three netflix imagine yeah (laughs) you have to go to crunchyroll or illegal sites pirated it's it's really bad to be honest. Mm. I don't know why Netflix has done that. I think it's because of like countries have some kind of <laughs> things with them. Like my theory is that Netflix has a <laughs> agreement with NordVPN, <laughs> and they just like yeah, let's limit this country and yeah. this country, and let's just market your service that yeah, you can watch like different Netflixes <laughs> from other countries. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so, so dumb if it actually but was it true. Be it's possible. It it could be possible to it's be It's really possible because <laughs> why, why else not? <laughs> well, maybe maybe they have like server limits. Yeah, that could be. How true. many movies they can actually stream? But mm. I don't think it's a problem anymore. Yeah, because they're really big nowadays. They're a really big company. I don't think they like mm. will run out of like server space and stuff. Yeah, or then it's just about having licenses stream the thing series is like in this country i don't know how that works so i well, don't know i'm just guessing yeah yeah i don't really know either like to be honest 
I'm really happy like what anime got into mainstream. Mm. There is some bad things about it like yeah. you can see in TikTok like some people like you know <laughs> they they're like yeah I'm an anime watcher and then you ask what did you watch Demon Slayer they're like oh just Demon Slayer well, yeah maybe they just started I yeah don't know. but like it just seems like anime has become this thing that's not that special anymore like yeah it's really good that everyone's watching it, it yeah. it's really good but I know gatekeeping is really bad and stuff but it's it feels a bit weird like the yeah. anime is so popular what what do you think what anime should be live action next after one piece <laughs> to be honest I don't like I will erased, want erased <laughs> would work really well yeah uh, probably just erased like there is a few animes that could work but to not be, that much to be honest like I think if you go through the comedy route mm. like comedy animes like yeah. Psyche 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 would be really funny it would be really funny as in live action actually Psyche is a really good starter anime to be honest and yeah. erased and erased is good yeah but Psyche brings a lot of uh, mob psycho vibes mm. oh yeah we, we should probably like tell about these animes we're talking about yeah uh, well Erased this like this anime about like this man that's kind of having a bad life, wanting to be a mangaka but kind of failing at life, and like one day spoilers spoilers. Uh, well, this is in the first episode. Uh, his mom dies, and I don't know how. There it's, is. I would say it's a mystery time travel series. Yeah. Some people say it's like an isekai, but that doesn't really make mm, sense. It's not an isekai. It's not really I an isekai. I wouldn't say it's yeah. an isekai. It's a time travel series. Yeah. It, the time traveling is never explained. Yeah, there's some hints like there's this one yeah, weird There's different guy theories, that but I think it's good to not question. Yeah. Because it really fits into yeah. the anime. It really does. That you just suddenly jump, you know. Just jump in time back to when he was like little and mm. he wants to solve like this mystery about this one girl that was in his class yeah okay spoiler alert uh in the end uh he like s- started making like oh wait the killer is probably the same killer that killed my mom yeah well, let's let's not go yeah let's not go too deep into that it's um i know no one's gonna skip yeah, yeah, the yeah. spoilers yeah <laughs> well <laughs> yeah Psyche is also really good. Psyche is Psyche really would good. also be really good live action anime. That's true. I think because it's based in comedy and you can yeah. play around with it mm. and not be too like serious and stuff. Yeah, serious and it it doesn't need to go with the actual anime. That's really true. You know? They could just make like new episodes to be honest. Because what does it tell? What Psyche tells about? <laughs> Like there is no story. The really. What's the plot? The there plot is, is he's really he has this special ability mm. and he's like the only one with it. Yeah, he's like the supreme human in he's a way. Superhuman. He has all these different abilities and he's just trying to survive through school. Yeah, he just tries to be a normal student, but it doesn't yeah. really work out. I think I think it's a bit similar to Rick and Morty. Like, That's what's the plot in Rick and Morty? Yeah, it's there like is no plot. It's like there is no plot. There is just like episodes, everything like doesn't. Okay, there is a way you, you watch it, like you watch it from the beginning to the end. Yeah. But nothing really like, you know, crosses over that much. I would say there is no end goal. Yeah. Like in One Piece, the end goal is to find One the Piece. One Piece yeah. And they're gathering the crew yeah. to go and find the yeah. One Piece. You know, that's like the main solid plot. In Psyche, it's just a normal guy <laughs> well, it's not a normal guy it's a special guy trying to fit into normal life yeah yeah and also mob psycho is the same that's really true but mob psycho has more plot in, yeah, in it mob psycho has like uh, way more plot but it's mm. kind of the same like concept there is a guy that's super strong for no reason yeah and yeah. he just like chills around in the anime it's it's kind of cool. It's really good. You know, the third season is coming next year. Oh, true. Yeah, it's going to be fun to watch. In Mob Psycho. Yeah, Mob Psycho. Yeah. yeah. Well, also Psyche got, like, it yeah. got a new series, mm. Psyche Reawakened. Yeah. It was funny because 
I finished Psychic when yeah. the reawakened came. Mm. I was like, oh, nice, more Psychic. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to the live action thing, in my mind, you shouldn't make anime into live action. It's just milking too much. Yeah. The anime is already good enough. Why, why do that? That's what I like in Squid Game. Mm. They didn't take it straight from anime. Yeah. They just got influence. Yeah, they just got influence from, from different it. manga. Uh, are they manga movies? There is like, there was manga and they made it into movies. Like all these like Liar Game, they were a manga and they made it into a movie. And he probably took like inspiration yeah. from those. And and the creator just took imp- inspiration, and I think that's good. Like getting original ideas yeah. and original content, and not just trying to milk yeah. anime. <laughs> <laughs> so it, yeah, I think that's that's what Squid Game did right. Mm. Yeah, but to be honest, I think the reason anime got so big is because it really does fit everyone. It really does. Yeah, there is any type of genre you want. There you is want an anime for everyone. Anyone yeah. you you don't watch just um, you watch a lot of anime. Yeah. Right? How how many animes you watched? Like, I watched till the end eighty anime. And I'm still watching 20 other anime, so <laughs> I'm almost gonna get to the 100. Yeah, I don't know how many I watched, like 20 maybe. Mm. Not even that. Yeah. Like, I just enjoy anime a lot. It's mm. You can find a lot in anime. It's yeah, there is uh, mystery animes. I like mystery animes. Mystery animes are cool. Uh, action. Action, shonen. Shonen. Well, action and shonen. Yeah, so they're like the same thing. Same like thing. It comes from the shonen jump. And yeah, you, you watch a lot of romance and it Yeah, I've watched... Like, uh, I liked shonen the most, but mm. I really liked, like, how... I never watched romance before. Like, yeah. maybe, like, with family sometimes, like, we watch some kind of romance thing, yeah, romance like comedy. M- musicals. Yeah, you know. but this was the first time I actually was watched, like, a rom-com alone <laughs> it feels it, it felt a bit weird but then i was like oh wait this is really good i really love like how they mix romance and comedy together in anime yeah. really well it's so good i've probably never watched a romance anime i don't yeah. know if you count um sort of online because it has it has romance vibes oh, actually almost every anime has some romance but it's yeah, just well. a small bit but like let's say you're lying in April, it. Actually, I watched. I haven't finished it. Mm. I I watched like. It's a really good anime. Like it I seems really serious. Then it mm. gets into the comedy, and then it goes back to serious. It's it's. A mind. But there is a lot of genres. There is shonen romance, romance comedy, normal comedy, mm. mystery. Uh, like horror anime of horror anime horror anime is nice mm. even our mom has watched anime yeah <laughs> well, our mom watched uh, erased like anime seems like it's for kids from just because perspective. in the western world most cartoons drawn cartoons most cartoons they're like family friendly yeah but let's say uh avatar okay that's the one like western avatar is anime. family friendly it's there is no gore there is or gore. like where what like episode? in avatar there is they talk about how people die and stuff like that yeah, but there, there is, is no gore like, like you don't yeah. see like blood and guts that's <laughs> and, true and there is no like psychological mm. uh, problems that's there is no suicide you mm. know stuff that isn't good for kids yeah and is not suggested for kids that's true yeah like I think just because of this wor- Western thinking that drawn uh, cartoons, anime, is for kids. But like I've heard even in Japan, some people think anime is for kids, like older maybe, people. Maybe maybe the older generation mm. could be. Because like anime started off from like people were drawing manga just like in the western culture just like comics you know mm. superheroes and stuff and yeah. later on they made like kind of like family shows and stuff those mm. were the first animes mm. yeah. and then they went into like let's say 
uh, Evangelion and stuff like that that was more like gore and uh, like mystery and stuff. Yeah, yeah that's, like that's true. That's true. I really just love anime. <laughs> anime is so good. Yeah, we could probably talk about we anime. We could talk about anime the whole day. like whole day to yeah. be honest. Like he he's watching One Piece right now and yeah. he watches like every night. Yeah, it's so good. I can <laughs> hear from the upstairs just like <laughs> Luffy screaming. <laughs> I I think if you want to go into anime casually, you should yeah. watch like series that are like shorter. Like One Punch Man. That's how we One got into Punch anime. Man. Yeah. We actually got to anime from One Punch Man kind of. Not really. Like I when I was a kid, I was watching Pokemon, Pokemon, and Duel Master, and yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff. But that—that's kind of just like it never felt like anime. It didn't I feel didn't like really anime. know even what like was anime. For people who live in Finland, Mumi. It's yeah, Mumins. It's a Finnish series, but it's actually an anime yeah, <laughs> in it a way. Made in Japan. Yeah, it's made in Japan. The animation, not the yeah. The story is from the trademark is Finnish. Yeah, yeah. Tuve Tuve yeah. Mm. yeah. But the uh, anime was made in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, mm. in my opinion, because there is like the Moomin anime. Yeah. Then there is uh, 3D Moomins. Yeah. Then there is the stop motion. Yeah. The Moomin anime was the best. That's and true. it was the OG. It was the original movie. Yeah, that everyone watched. Like it was the actual best mm. out of all these. To be honest, the reason why I loved Naruto was because it kind of... Yeah, I the original one was really good, but to mm. be honest, why I love it so much is because of Shippuden doing the spark and making me actually feel, you know? Yeah. It's it, it was a bit weird, like, first time watching a series that makes you cry, like, yeah, actually yeah. cry. It was really weird. Naruto was really good. Mm. I feel like what's rewatching it again. <laughs> Same, yeah. actually. It was it was really good. Mm. There's a lot of people that say Naruto is bad because of the fillers and because it's skip so the long. Fillers. Don't. What I recommend you though, if you have watched like Naruto or Bleach or One Piece or any anime, to be mm. honest, what if there is any movies for them? Because anime movies are really good. Anime movies. Are solid, yeah. Yeah. I think if if um, studios wanted to make anime into mm. live action, why wouldn't they just take from anime movies and turn them into That's live action? True. And then they don't have the problem about like story continuity and That's how it actually, actually went out. About that. You know, like anime is such a wide topic. Yeah. We're going to probably talk on this podcast about anime like every four, every five episodes, you know. It depends. It depends what's trending and yeah. it depends what you, the viewers, like yeah. and want us to talk about. You can leave in the comments what we should actually talk about. That's true. But yeah, give us some love in the comments and yeah. give us a thumbs up. And I think we should wrap this up here. Yeah, we don't really have... I think we probably help. talked in half an hour. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, please subscribe and we'll actually post every Thursday and Saturday. Yeah. So I think this episode's going to be on Saturday. So, yeah. Hi. Nice weekend. Nice weekend, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to wrap this up. So, yeah, subscribe, like, and comment. Peace. Peace. Peace.